one of the things I've learned the most from working in Ghana is just how important it is to have those relationships. And when you introduce people into what we're actually doing, you know, working to help the lives of children, I mean, it really um, opened up people's hearts and then doors. Unilever's uh, providing salt to us at cost. Unilever's providing salt, man sells giving sugar. Yep. And it was, it was never like we asked for it. It was just always like, hey, we want to help. What can we do? And it was. I think all of us went into the trip and into Ghana uh, as individuals. Mm -hmm. And all of us underwent the conversion that Ghana does to you, that makes you a team, makes you a unity. All of us did whatever we had to and took on very different roles. I mean, when people ask you, you know, what did you do to get the job done in Ghana? There are just thousands of things that you can't even describe. I think it was about winning millions of little battles. I think yeah. it was about, you know, at any point in time, if you tried to take in the entire thing we're trying to do, it was, it was how do you do this? But at the moment at 11.30 at night, it's just, okay, who are the people that need to be in charge for getting this machine off? Do it. Okay, while they're taking it off, me and Bill are gonna grab a hammer and start ripping the crates off of the other things. And it was just about, what do we handle for the next 15 minutes? Yeah, it's like you said, a million small steps to yeah. get to where it's placed, it's ready to go. And and also, I mean, Sean, you're, you were a constant cheerleader. You stayed up all the time. And, and, and it meant a lot to us. Yeah, so thank you. Oh, <laughs> that was our first trip. Yeah. You know, Bill and I actually have our offices next to each other yes. in the tech center. And uh, Judy kind of comes down all the time too. But I want to move in there and they won't let yeah. me. <laughs> I don't know if I'll have the same kind of relationship with anybody else in any other project I work on. I mean, this was was, was different. These people yeah. I talk to on a personal level. Um, people know my family, I know their families. It's, yeah. We banter like children and love each other to death. <laughs> yeah. You know, one thing I have to say is that on, um, we were there for Mother's Day and my daughter sent me a text and said, you know, everyone else has taken their mother out to dinner. You're saving children. Thank you. Hmm. You know, my kids know what I go here and what I do and they see the pictures and they've helped me collect soccer equipment that they know that I was taking so that they've, you know, they've been along this journey as well. And, you know, I, I guess when kids talk about what their parents do, I mean, this is something they actually talk about. You can tell that they actually, they care, and they're happy, and they're proud about what their parents actually do. You know, that, that uh, pride shows up even in, at work, that our videos, our other videos, run at work on the screens everywhere. And people have stopped me and said, you were on that. That was you. We made a difference in their lives. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it, and it gives everyone pride in what the Hershey Company does. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's why we're doing it. Those kids right there, I mean, it makes it easy to keep going for all of us, you know. I think we all got a lot out of this project too, but at the end of the day, you know, those kids, getting to do something for them, I mean, just means a, means a lot to, some, to, to us, you know. Mm -hmm.